Hi, this is Programma and welcome to my channel. Today I just want to talk about this uh, show that I've been binge watching lately. Uh, it's on CNBC channel. It's The Prophet uh, with Marcus Lemonis. It talks about this investor, Marcus Lemonis, who will try to save small businesses from falling down. And it's a very interesting concept because you can see the principles behind a successful business and at the same time be inspired with entrepreneurship and trying to develop your own uh, concepts. Like way back when I was 23, when I tried to uh, put up a business, uh, it's a hamburger business and it's called the Pilgrim Turf. And in fact, I had the picture of that particular place, no frame. Yes. Okay, yes, there. So, um, I wanted to have a burger joint at 23 because I really wanted to become a businessman. And it was a dream to be your own boss. But I didn't know much about the food business except that I love eating. <laughs> right? um, so, what I did was to get my burgers from Landmark. My lettuce, my tomatoes, my onions, everything from Landmark. I didn't even go to the wet market and develop my own uh, ingredients or my own uh, formula for a burger. And I just wanted the concept, I wanted the design, I wanted to have the diner feel. And I spent a lot in trying to develop this area in our place so that it can become a burger joint. I think I've mentioned it before in my previous vlog. And it just came to my mind again when I was watching The Prophet. I think most of us would want to have their own businesses. I think that's the ultimate goal. It's not to be an employee, but to be an employer. It's a dream that uh, you would want to be that boss uh, that you are not answerable to anyone but in truth if you are in business you are also answerable to your clients you are answerable to uh, people who will patronize your products and if you are in a partnership or if you are in a corporation you are answerable to people who are investing in your company and um, the profit showed the us or showed will show people who will watch it, uh, how to create a successful business. So aside from the branding, marketing, the product is first of all the most important thing. What you are selling, what you are making the consumers uh, know about and want to buy from you. And it's a very interesting concept uh, because it will make you feel that it's not an easy thing to start your own business. So if you are an employee just like myself, you know that being an employee is a lot, lot easier than being the owner of your own business. And that's the reality of it. Uh, and the sacrifices that you will have to go through, uh, the, you know, the feasibility studies that you have to make, in order to make sure that your business has 90% chance of survival and ROI. At any rate, I wanted to talk to you on this vlog. Is the fact that anyone who is desiring to have their own business must watch The Profit. <laughs> and probably you'll get an idea on what to do. One of the mistakes that I made is that I did not get any feasibility study or I just wanted to put up my own business. I want to put up a burger store. I love to eat burgers. But I did not go through uh, the possibility of costs. No, uh, I, I was on the creative side. Probably it's my liberal arts mind no? uh, that was running, that, that I was so creative with uh, particular burgers. No? It was an imitation of the big burger chains uh, with my own take on that. No? So, the thing is, if you want your business idea to succeed, you have to put a lot of research to it. And before you put money into it, you have to 
make sure that you have focus groups, you have to consult people who are actually in business, you have to study uh, your options as well, and you don't have to quit your job immediately, just like I did. <laughs> mm, I guess you, you can hustle as, you know, as Gary Vaynerchuk will say, on the side. And, you know, as you are being good as an employee, you try to um, expand your horizon in being a business owner. And in that way, you can probably have a chance. Um, I wanted to become a business owner because first of all, I didn't want to have a boss. Second, I wanted to be a business tycoon. <laughs> and I'm just smiling right now because I'm, I'm not that. Um, third, I also want to give jobs to other people. I want to be a provider of jobs. Uh, I wanted to become an employer than an employee. And it's one of the things that I think business owners can brag about. They help people to change their lives. They help people to make a living. And that is the thing that I still want to do in the future, <laughs> if I can still make it. Um, because I am so attracted with business shows. I'm so attracted with business books. Uh, I just have to apply it more often and to risk again in doing uh, certain businesses. And when I was starting my own business also, I tried to not really count the money. I just would like to be creative about it and to make the creativity number one priority more than the cost efficiency of the business. And that is a mistake also. Uh, so right now, I'm just saying that uh, I continue to be inspired before I used to read a lot of entrepreneurship magazines uh, and I love I love I have a number quite a number of business uh, books that will give you ideas about putting up your own thing uh, I had go negotio books of course by Joe Concepcion a compilation of business stories it always fascinates me how people try to bring their ideas into reality and how to make it so uh, part of their lives and so empowering uh, that they also empower other people as they go along with the business so siguro yung vlog lang na ito, i just wanted to have a free chat about going for that thing that you love to do and trying to risk something so that you will not regret i tried putting up a business when I was 23 now that I'm a lot lot older uh, I know that I have learned my lesson and I will study a lot before I put up my own business right now I concentrate on the fact on being good in what I do in my job try to save a little but I still have a long way to go because I know that there are many many things that I can do in order to contribute to the world and from the work that I do right now and to the business concepts that I have in my mind. I hope that I can contribute to the Philippine economy and yung dream ko to have the Philippines to be a rich country. I may not be part of that in a bigger sense of the word, but I'm trying to be part of it in the work that I do, in the ideas that I make, in this vlog that I'm producing, and hopefully I can make a dent. So this burger joint that I used to have, uh, it's something that was not put to waste because the experience is really, really something that I learned from and something that I would always look back and not regret about. And that's the wonderful thing about the profit also. It makes you realize that a lot of people go into business, encounter a lot of problems, and there is hope if somebody will help them navigate through the business and just like Marcus uh, Limonis do, uh, he tries to make sure that this business will reach its maximum potential. So I admire the people who put up businesses who do not give up, who try to go for their passion because they want to uh, reach their dreams and at the same time serve a community or serve the world in the products that they would sell. 
that this is a short chat that I hope you can check out the channel CNBC channel and check out the profit uh, if you don't want the full episodes there are the profit in 10 minutes that's the one that I watch and I learn a lot from and if you are into business right now congratulations I admire you I hope that uh, you can inspire a lot of people too and at the same time uh, if you are still an employee and you are happy being one then congratulations also because as I've said the work that you do is your contribution to the world and that is something that we have to be proud about kasi syempre pareho rin niyo ako <laughs> isang empleyado also thank you so much for watching try to go for your passions try to learn a lot from business books try to learn a lot from YouTube videos of people who are successful Discover something nice sa Pinas, something nice sa buhay. Like and subscribe po Gamo Channel. And click the notification bell. God bless you.